In the beginning, God creates the heavens and the earth in six days. He makes Adam and Eve who spend their days with God until they give into temptation by eating from a forbidden tree. Sin entered the world and things got so bad that God flooded the heads and started over with Noah and his family. Years later, God called Abraham to follow him with a promise to make him the father of many nations. Abraham obeys. God gives him a son, Isaac. Isaac's son, Jacob, has 12 sons. Joseph, Jacob's favorite, becomes second in command of Egypt. God uses him to save his entire family and Egypt from starvation. Hundreds of years later, the Israelites are slaves in Egypt. Moses is called to lead the Israelites out of slavery. Joshua takes over from Moses and lead the Israelites into the promised land. After Joshua, God raises up judges, temporary military leaders like Deborah, Gideon and Samson, who protect and fight for God's people. The people, tired of this leadership, called on God for a king. God gave the Israelite King Saul, King David, and King Solomon. But it's all down the hill from here. The people rebelled. The kingdom of God is divided, and everyone turned their back on God. Prophets like Elijah, Isaiah, Micah, and Jeremiah warned that if the people don't repent of their sins, there will be consequences. But the people ignore their warnings. The divided kingdoms are conquered, and God's people face captivity in foreign lands. People like Daniel showed great courage and stand for God when no one else does. Some of the exiled people returned to the promised land. But for 400 years, God is silent. No prophets, no miracles, no angel visitations. But then the silence is broken when Jesus is born. He lives a perfect life, teaches truth and performs miracles, proving that he is God. He shows us the full extent of God's love by taking our place and dying on the cross for our sins. He is placed in a grave, but three days later, Jesus rises again, conquering sin and death. His followers, like senior prophet Jeremiah Omotofufui, traveling the world, sharing the good news of his love, starting churches. We now are part of this story, and we have the chance to change the world and share his love, because one day he will crack open the sky and he will return. It's the greatest story ever told. How well do you know your Bible? How well do you know your Bible? How well do you know your Bible? Good day, sir. How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Very good. Okay, sir. Sir, can you recite John 3.16? Mm, let's say John 3.16. Everything in the Bible is talking about one thing. You want to preach? Let me just give you some lowdown about the life of God. Somebody, sorry, sorry. Story. God created me his own image, his own likeness. And he said in uh, Romans 8 verse 28, he said, anyone that loves him, everything will work for a good, for the man. It's okay. It's a story. You just recite John 3, 16 without looking at your Bible. Hmm. Uh, let me just meditate on it first. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, know yourself, okay? We are not here to play. <laughs> is it a minute or just... Is it a second or... Don't talk any other. Huh? He said, anyone that seek the light, why don't you just brief it first? No. Somebody say, if you don't know, I will cut you off. I can't recite it, but uh, I, I can just, when, I pre when you preach the word, before you can give the word like that, I can't just recite it, yeah. Do yourself, if you don't know, I will take my security to carry you outside there. This place is not the place that you come and play, and you go, okay? Good day, sir. How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to know it more. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Can you recite John 3, 16? For God so loved the world, and he gave us his only beloved son. But whosoever believes in him shall not die, but have everlasting life. Uh, are you sure, sir? I'm sure. 
Yeah, sure, it's correct. I'm sure, <laughs> it's got it. <laughs> Answers now, wow. Yes! Hey, Dema, how well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Oh, well, our Bible is very, very good to know because when you know your Bible, life will be very easy for you. What? What are you saying? Whenever you are looking, whatever you are looking for, you will get it in life because with that Bible, because the Bible carries great words of God. When you when you study the Bible, I believe I believe your life will never ever remain the same. Discussion continues. Okay, ma. So um, first question, ma. Can you recite um, John three sixteen? John three sixteen for so, God so loved the world and He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him will never perish but have everlasting life. Is that Oma? Yes. Sir. Are you sure it's correct? Yes. It's You're correct. very sure. Very sure. Okay. Yes. Good day, ma. How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very very good? It's very very good. I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, ma. Can you recite John three sixteen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Remember, I think uh, John three sixteen. What happened? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish. I think, but have everlasting life. And again, seventeen. I can see recall that. Ask a question. <laughs> For He did not send His only begotten Son to come and destroy that. He sent him so that the world might be saved through him. So, okay. okay, so that's your final answer? That is my final answer. Oh. Very, 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 very talented. What's the meaning of this? How well do you know your Bible? Yes, sir, how well do you know your Bible? Good, very good, or very, very good? So it's very good to know the Bible. Yeah. Okay, sir, can you recite John 3 16? John 3 16. God so loved the world, he gave it because it's stone. Huh? Give it because it's done. <laughs> so, who believe in him, he shall not perish, have everlasting life. Okay, you're sure it's correct, sir? My church. You're sure it's correct? Yeah, well, if you're not correct, at least. Yeah. From where? <laughs> good day, sir. How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? It's very, very good, Auntie. It's very good. I'm reading the Bible. I think I'm trying. So I need to learn more about the Bible. I want to know about I'm acquiring more knowledge, more wisdom, more power from Prophet Zir Prophet Zir Maya Moto Fufu. What sort of man is this? Hello. Okay. So may the Almighty God give him long life, prosperity, and bless him. And whatever thing he do, he will prosper. And can you recite John three sixteen? John three sixteen. John 3 16 said that for God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him could not perish but have an everlasting life. So you're sure it's correct? Uh, I think John 3 16 is perfectly correct. Man. Uh, I, uh, ow! <laughs> good day, sir. How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Very, very good. Okay, sir, can you recite John 3.16? Okay. Mm. Uh, I cannot pronounce the someone now, right now. You don't know anything! <laughs> good day, sir. How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Very, very good. I know my Bible very well. Sir, can you recite John 3.16? For God so okay, yeah. for God so loved the world, I give holy because His Son. For those that uh, believe Him, I don't perish. But... <laughs> Thomas, okay, okay. Is that all? Uh, no, it go down, down, down. But you know, there are many verses in the the Bible. Huh? There are many verses in the the Bible and uh, the other area. So. One cannot focus on only one area. You see what's happening? Worship God. I believe that that place there that God so loved the world and gave us his beloved son. He loved his son that whosoever believe, uh, believe him should not die but have an everlasting life. So that's your final answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the problem of many Christians today. 
problem. Good day, ma. How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Very, very good. Okay, ma. Can you recite John 3, 16? For God so loved the world, and he gave his only begotten son for the world. Have you heard that story? Have you déjà écouté une telle histoire? Have you Is that all? Yeah. So you're sure about this, ma? Yes. How well do you know your Bible? And can you recite Psalm 23? Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in grief fashion. He leads me beside the street water. He, he raised... Sorry. Some of the head Some of the head Let me come again. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in grief fashion. He leads me beside the street water. He leads me beside the street water. He restored my soul for his name's sake. He anointed my head with oil and my cup thrown it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So your show is correct, ma. Yes. What guy? Yes. <laughs> Can you recite Psalm 23? Psalm 23. <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not worry. Let me lie down in the departure. <laughs> Let me lie down in the departure. He restore my soul. He lead me in the still water. <laughs> Please. <laughs> what happened? For a name's sake, I walk in the shadow of death. I will not fear evil. The rod and the star will comfort me. He prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemy. It's oh yeah, it's. <laughs> Is that the over at a place? What? What are you saying? That is all I can say. That's all you can remember. I'm telling you, please. <laughs> Your own <now. laughs> Can you recite Psalm 23? Psalm, Psalm 23 is all. <sighs> Let's say tension. <laughs> Why is she laughing? I've forgotten. Yeah, it's. Can you give me time to think. Yeah, Psalm 23 is all. Um, Remember. The Lord is my shepherd, right? I shall not want. He made me to. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. China. <laughs> I can't really remember. And that is my best or whatever, but I can't. Don't be deceived. Can you recite Psalm 23? Psalm 23. Psalm 23 said that the Lord is my shepherd as I know what. He make me to lie down in the green pasture. He led me beside the sea water. He restored my soul. He led me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Ye do through I walk the valley of shadow of death. I fear no evil. The Lord, the rock and the staff, they comfort me. Thou prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My corpse runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> so, Yeshua is correct. Oh, I think uh, it's correct. The God of Jeremiah must intervene this week. Amen. How well do you know your Bible? Can you recite Psalm 23? <laughs> Got into the recite it again. Okay. He said that. <clears throat> You're on another another problem. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> no grammar. No grammar. You have a big problem. I have, I have set it. <laughs> I've set a table before you in the presence of your enemy. As, as we start from the beginning to the end. I don't know. I can't cite it. <laughs> This man don't know where the attack comes from. Can you recite Psalm 23? No. You don't know anything? You have no idea about it. Just Psalm 21. 
91. It's only Psalm 91. Okay, so can you recite Psalm 23? Mm, okay. The, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not word. He lead me beside the... I cannot recite it fully. What happened, sir? I cannot recite it fully. You forgot him? Yeah. You go and do nonsense. <laughs> How well do you know your Bible? Who was the first king of Israel? Israel is king. Aaron. Are you sure? Sure. That's your final answer? Hey, you, come out for this place. Okay. Who was the first king of Israel? Saul. Are you sure, sir? Saul, so, Saul. So. That's your final answer? Yes, yeah, Saul. So. Yes! Yeah! Who was the first king of Israel? Who was the first king of Israel? Israel. I don't know. I can't recall. I don't remember. Hey, madam! It's an attack. Who was the first king of Israel? The first king of Israel is Saul. Are you sure? The first king of Israel is Saul. That's your final answer? Yes. Yes! Who was the first king of Israel? The first king of Israel is um Oh this man he come and go and come and go. The king of Israel. If this man when David take over. Um What happened? Please, I forgot. Actually, I forget the man. No, we say I can. I forgot. It is finished. <laughs> Who was the first king of Israel? I saw. Are you sure, sir? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes. How well do you know your Bible? So, who was the first king of Israel? The first king of Israel is not uh, Simon. Come again, come again. Simon. Huh? Is that your answer or yeah. that's your final answer? Yeah. You're sure about this? Sir? Yeah. Quiet! You don't know anything again. <laughs> um, who was the first king of Israel? Uh, the first king of Israel was uh, King Saul. Are you sure? Yes. You're very sure? Yeah. That's your final answer? Yes. Yes! So, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Where is it in the Bible? I don't know really. I don't know. I know it, but I forgot. It's an attack. Arrow hmm. of China. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Where is it in the Bible? Mm. There is big problem. Isaiah. Sorry, sorry. I don't know. You have no idea? I have a, there is Isaiah 54, verse 8, something like that. So is that your final answer? <laughs> I'm not too sure, but problem, this girl. Huh? It's Isaiah 54 verse 8. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Where is it in the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> hey, madam! I don't, I don't, honestly, my mind is not just there. You have been failing before. The truth. Do you hear what she said? How well do you know your Bible? Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Where is it in the Bible? Problem. Someone's a problem. Problem. Genesis. Genesis. 
I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't do it too Bible Sha, but I believe I think it's Genesis. Something like that. Don't talk anyhow. So is Genesis your final answer, sir? No, not the same come. <laughs> Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Where is it in the Bible? Pardon. <laughs> Not here again. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Where is it in the Bible? In the Bible is uh, it's, uh, Exodus. Exodus are Deuteronomy. Okay, give us one, either Exodus or Deuteronomy, which one? <laughs> it's Exodus. That's your final answer? Uh, this man, is it duty? you have gone. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Where is it in the Bible, sir? The book of uh, Romans, something. Romans 16, 15, something like that. Are you sure, sir? I know. You're very sure. Mm. That's your final answer. Yeah. Focus. My people perish for lack of peri. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Where is it in the Bible? Bidaya. 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 Bidaya 3. Let us see. Read on. Take a Bidaya 3. Are you sure? I'm sure. You're sure? Yeah. That's your final answer? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. So, Abidaya 3 what? Mm, I don't know if it's Abidaya 3. Abidaya 3. That's your final answer? Yeah. You come to the church. You'll be like a big man. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Where is it in the Bible? Hmm, this one. What happened to you? For God is one. These are spiritual things that you need to know. Ce sont des choses spirituelles. <laughs> Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Where is it in the Bible? In Obadiah 1 verse 17. Are you sure, sir? Yes. Yes! May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. In the beginning, God creates the heavens and the earth in six days. He makes Adam and Eve who spend their days with God until they give into temptation by eating from a forbidden tree. Sin entered the world and things got so bad that God flooded the heads and started over with Noah and his family. Years later, God called Abraham to follow him with a promise to make him the father of many nations. Abraham obeys. God gives him a son, Isaac. Isaac's son Jacob has 12 sons. Joseph, Jacob's favorite, becomes second in command of Egypt. God uses him to save his entire family and Egypt from starvation. Hundreds of years later, the Israelites are slaves in Egypt. Moses is called to lead the Israelites out of slavery. Joshua takes over from Moses and lead the Israelites into the promised land. After Joshua, God raises up judges, temporary military leaders like Deborah, Gideon and Samson, who protect and fight for God's people. The people, tired of this leadership, called on God for a king. God gave the Israelite King Saul, King David, and King Solomon. But it's all down the hill from here. The people rebelled. 
the kingdom of God is divided and everyone turned their back on God. Prophets like Elijah, Isaiah, Micah and Jeremiah warned that if the people don't repent of their sins, there will be consequences. But the people ignore their warnings. The divided kingdoms are conquered and God's people face captivity in foreign lands. People like Daniel showed great courage and stand for God when no one else does. Some of the exiled people returned to the promised land. But for 400 years, God is silent. No prophets, no miracles, no angel visitations. But then the silence is broken when Jesus is born. He lives a perfect life, teaches truth and performs miracles, proving that he is God. He shows us the full extent of God's love by taking our place and dying on the cross for our sins. He is placed in a grave, but three days later, Jesus rises again, conquering sin and death. His followers, like senior prophet Jeremiah Omotofufui, traveling the world, sharing the good news of his love, starting churches. We now are part of this story, and we have the chance to change the world and share his love, because one day he will crack open the sky and he will return. It's the greatest story ever told. How well do you know your Bible? How well do you know your Bible? How well do you know your Bible?